Good morning. My name is Luann and welcome to my kitchen. Um, that iced tea is as out there in that ice box. That sweet iced tea and the coffees are brewing. So what am I making for you today? Well, since this is my birthday week, I decided I'd go ahead and make a chocolate birthday cake pie. So let me turn the camera around. Let me show you how to make it. Okay. So I got a cup and a half of milk, and I'm using whole milk. I am going to add a package of chocolate pie filling. And so we add our chocolate pie filling. And I've already made my crust. Get that chocolate pie filling, I mean that chocolate pudding, instant pudding. Then we need to mix this up. Get this all mixed up and incorporated into that yummy milk. Uh, I made this recipe on my other channel, Blackberry Rock Homestead. And Hubby didn't want to try it. It was vanilla flavor. So I thought I'd jump in here and make a chocolate flavored one. So there is our chocolate pudding all mixed up. So now I'm going to switch and... Get rid of this whisk. Throw it in the sink there. Uh, now I need to add a fourth a cup of chocolate cake mix to here. Get my spatula. Now it's time to, I need to mix this in. says to fold it in, but I'm not folding it in. I'm just mixing it in, y'all. Just going to mix all that yummy um, <clears throat> fudge. This might be too rich for hubby. Um, he don't like very rich desserts, but it is what it is. So we got to get this all mixed in. Make sure there ain't no dry in there. So the next thing we need to add is we need to fold in half a container of Cool Whip. Let me get that. We just need to fold this Cool Whip in. We're only using a half of a container of an 8 ounce uh, container of Cool Whip. So after we get this all folded in, um, like I said, this is supposed to be a vanilla. But I'm making a chocolate. And if you want to throw in sprinkles, you could at this time. So like I said, I don't know how this will turn out. But we we'll, shall see how it will turn out. So I'm not very good at this. So Sorry about that noise. So we just need to fold that Cool Whip in. And don't throw out that other portion of the Cool Whip because we will put it on top. Um, if you wanted to, you can add some um, chocolate chips, which I'm planning on making. What do I do with them? I put them somewhere, somewhere. Oh, there they are. I'm going to add a few dark chocolate chips to this instead of sprinkles. And then we're going to stir those in. And then we will be adding this, pouring this into our chocolate crust. Yes, I said chocolate. Because hubby wanted a chocolate one, so he's getting a chocolate one. Let me get my crust and we'll pour this in real quick. Now the other half of our uh, container of Cool Whip, we put this on top. So I am going to do that, and I'll be right back. So if I had some chocolate, um, I could probably sprinkle some, some do some shaves on top of this. But I'm putting chocolate chips because that's what I have. It would be pretty to put um, some chocolate, like sift some chocolate um, cocoa in there. I think that would be pretty too. Uh, so I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it chill for a little bit. 
and then we will be digging in. Look at that luscious chocolate cake pie. Chocolate birthday cake pie. I'm going to let it, that pie chill uh, for my chocolate birthday cake pie. So if y'all didn't check my live, I will be starting probably January some gelatin or pudding recipes, a year of those desserts or whatever. All I recall is you um, say my name in the video and that you mention jello or gelatin or pudding or something. I have to figure out that hashtag. Um, also, slow cooker recipes as well. So it'll be out throughout the whole year. And I look forward to bringing you jello type recipes and slow cooker recipes. So that's it for today. So keep making those things from scratch. And if you don't know how, keep learning how and learning different techniques and things that we need to make things, make more things from scratch. And so see y'all later and God bless.